Hello and uh, welcome back to World of Tanks. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys uh, artillery. Now, a lot of people hate artillery, a lot of people hate using it. Uh, basically, it's very hard to use. Um, so gonna say, Auf geht's! There we go. Um, now, basically, on this part of the map, uh, artillery's uh, squad is down at Alpha Zero. So people like to move uh, Alpha Zero. Uh, I'm gonna go to Alpha Zero and go to the bottom. My arc is in that here. Also, this building, a lot of, a lot of times when you're in artillery, you want to shoot the hands. Uh, cover. So I am, and so there are some places that I can hit with my uh, right now. Um, doesn't uh, let's see. It take 1.5 seconds for my shell to travel. So what you want to do is now that player is a yellow player. So as, as you can see, I shot the, I clicked the shot. The reticle went red. And I did that before um, he got to that spot, so that because I predicted him to go there in 1.5 seconds, that's why I released it, and I hit him. So when you start playing, you you also have to check to see that green line. If that green line is there, and then the red line goes over where the tank is, then you're gonna be able to hit the tank. Now um, I don't see them going there, so I decide to not focus on them. See the OI experimentals on the map. I do I go after him? Or do I wait for that T1 hang? Am I gonna be stubborn? Got it. Mm, yeah, a little bit. Mm, focusing too much on the T1 hang, so I decided to focus my attention to the OI experimental again. Here I can see him. The enemy OI experimental kill him, and they killed each other based on the same shot. I see that they're Churchill 3. So I decide to fire a blind round to where he could be. I don't hit him because there's an explosion on the ground. Now if there was no explosion and you see the shell but you don't see it apparently the uh, French tier 4 tank destroyer killed T1 Heavy um, this the artillery is very important on the allies uh, your own allies to kill them so that Churchill 3 is in my line of so do I go after him? I can say no but I predict that T be there. I don't hit him. It takes uh, a considerable time to reload. Uh, do I go up to that P1C and I say no? I look at the, I gotta be confident looking at the map and I try and I say, you know what? I'm gonna try to hit him. So I go out of my cover. There's some cover between me and them. It's that great cover. It's like concrete wall. They can't see me, but I can shoot over the wall. And so I carefully aim. Well, not carefully. Well, I do carefully aim, and also wait for the red. Five. The reason being is because uh, since this shell has, low, I'm not going to be hitting the top part of the tank. I'm going to be hitting usually the front, so that has uh, less penetration value because the, t the front of the tank has more armor than the top of. It. Makes sense. He's going toward me. I try to hit other things on the map at the time uh, while they're coming at me. The PZ-38T to my left at 9 is there, He's spotting them through that window that he just backed away from so I can see them coming. So I load the premium weapon. Now the premium ammunition on this thing has 104 uh, millimeters of penetration, 350 um, of average damage. The reason because is he's on semi low health, he has 260. So if I hit it, um, it's more likely he'll penetrate for that round since it had twice the amount of uh, penetration value 104. Um, the side armor of the KV 1 is around 70 millimeters, so the standard round wouldn't have penetrated, and I knew that. So I switched to my premium ammunition, and then after I fired and killed them, I switched back to my regular. So in in there are certain instances where, in order for you to survive and to get a kill, and to enable your team a high to have a higher likelihood of winning, you need to switch to premium rounds. You also need to be paying attention to the map. The tilt is over there, the M4 is last part over there, but the tilt seems to be toward 
there's also that one map that one tank the type 95 that was um, also on my butt now I'm gonna switch to um, three camera uh, I'm s I'm waiting for him to pop out on that corner you see where my guns play I'm pointing right here so whenever he pops out in front that's my time to shoot him basically um, I played the type 95 this is where um, experience because I can't put my cursor over his tank to know what he has because normally the booker I can see right here I see the easy one see I wait for him you have to be patient this is the thing a lot of people will you to shoot prematurely I'm reloading he, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem to be experienced otherwise he'd rush me right now because I have about 14 seconds to reload so for instance, uh, I'm like, oh, I can't move up, I'm like, I'm going to make a song, I'm going to make sure I kill him. And so, I see that the Wolverine is going after him, and so, um, he probably, uh, uh, the, the heights, uh, the has, uh, uh, large ground, until they killed him, I saw that coming. And so, I'm doing pretty well this round. But uh, not long enough. Our team is still losing, and this is where I try my hardest to kill them until the floor. Um, closing it out. Closing. Uh, closing. That uh, I shoot. Wrong prediction. Even if he went more back, he shall still. Maybe the splash damage might damage might attract them. But uh, you know, I can always try again later. Wait for the circle to go green. Okay, the blue. That means I'm reloaded. I shoot. Don't hit. Well, there's some. This is the reason why people do not like artillery, is because sometimes you're aimed, you know you should hit, but the shell goes way off, because that circle is huge. Come on, come on. Come on, go forward. Long before you're gonna go for I, I don't shoot. Do I shoot now? I shoot now. I that landed that landed Oh, that landed like near that bush over there. That was so off. That that's that's why it's very that's sometimes playing uh, as artillery is very infuriating. And so I think he's there, right? But I look to see if I can shoot at the T fifty, I can't. The Matilda four pops back up. I try to take a shot at him. And here's the thing. If I only I would have been able to shoot earlier, I just wouldn't have gotten a kill for one damage. That's pathetic. Um, I did kill him. I did, you know, one less gun in action, yes, but it sucks that I couldn't get damage earlier. All I could do was pretty much kill Steel, but at this point, since the game is so close, I don't think I'm going to care that I pretty much got that kill for one, for one uh, point of health, essentially. I tried to move out to see the 250s there. Uh, here's where you need to be situationally aware. That T-50's there. I don't know if it's bottom or not. I don't have success. This crew's 75% practically. And the Matilda, he could be approaching me through the buildings down on this road, right? You know, because I, I'm not going to poke my head out and just be out in the open like that. You know, I want this pz 38 na to come over here and help me spot him because that's what scouts do they're supposed to spot things so that I can shoot at them yes so right now I'm just preemptively aimed right there to where if uh, that Matilda comes around I, I kill him basically uh, don't ever give up even though you think that you can't contribute to your team you very much can don't uh, count yourself out uh, I didn't you know and I got that KV-1 a lot of people would panic see the Matilda's right there since I'm already preemptively uh, aiming, and here's the thing, you see that blue circle? That's the 50 meters proximity range of spotting. Now, uh, since I can see that he's in there, and I know where where the circle is because I have the modification, I can see that he knows that I'm there too, and he's pretty much proving it. And I'm calling for help, right? I want somebody to distract him. I call for help. Always call for your help if you need it. But don't rely on it. So he moves forward. He moves forward. I am patient and I blast him. Now he does 55 average damage. He cannot shoot uh, HE rounds, so he can't do more damage to me with a different type of ammunition. So he would have taken me. 
he would have taken him approximately four rounds to kill me. But it would only take uh, me very uh, one to kill him. So it, it was better for me to be patient um, in that instance. That's why I took my time and I waited until I had a clear, clear shot. My whole ready kill was on him and then I killed him. Otherwise, it could have gotten really bad from there. He could have turned it around and killed the rest of us, but he didn't. But anyways, that's kind of the fundamentals of uh, being an artillery. How to shoot across the map. How to predict where the enemy is going to go. Basically, um, look to where I shot at the OIX for Metal Tier 5 Japanese Heavy. I shot ahead of him. I predicted where he was going to be 1.5 seconds after I clicked. That's what you need to know. You, if, you, if you can, install a modification that allows you to have extra... Um, artillery information, basically how long the shell would take to travel to get to the spot where you clicked, then you predict, uh, basically based on the tank characteristics, like let's say you see a tank moving at uh, a certain speed, and you count how long it takes him to go across a certain part of the map uh, in one second, and then you, you calculate, oh, it'll take him, uh, if he's going straight in the same exact direction, or going from zero to its max speed, in this amount of time, you can predict where they're going to be in, let's say, for instance, that shell took 1.5 seconds of travel. I knew where that shell would be 1.5 seconds after travel, and I knew where he was going to be uh, if he were to move forward. That's why I was able to hit him. And then also, you need, a, you need what you, you take home from this video mostly, I guess, is how to defend yourself. I was able to kill uh, three tanks from this position by playing defensively and being patient and not shooting prematurely. You shoot when you know you have the shot. Because while the enemy, in this in, in this case, in this match, the enemy was only able to, let's say, deal, like that PZ-1C, it would have done, I think, 12 average damage. I have enough to sponge a few hits from that while I take extra care to make sure I'll hit him, which I did. The KV-1, I switched to premium ammunition because I wanted to make sure I would fully penetrate so I can do around average damage so that I would kill him in one shot. Because he would kill me in two, while it would take me more than one round of regular ammunition to kill him. So that's why I needed a premium. And for the Matilda, to wrap it up, um, he would kill me in four shots. So I knew that. So therefore, since one shot comes every two seconds, or best case scenario, 1.8 seconds, or 1.75, I forget how quick it runs, how quick they reload... Basically, it would take him about, let's say, um, it would take about six seconds for him to kill me, right? Six. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. That's a very long time. That gives me extra time for me to shoot at him. I wanted to make sure I had the full turret in my reticle, though, because in that scenario, I could still have missed if even a little portion was off. I wanted to make sure, and he went forward enough for me to do it. And that's why I took my sweet time, and I shot him after he poked completely out. Make sure. You be patient. This game, if anything you need to know to be way more successful in World of Tanks, is to be patient. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my uh, uh, little tutorial bit. Um, and uh, rewatch it if you need to, you know, uh, see how I did things, um, or if not, watch other replays on other channels. But this is a tier four German uh, artillery. It's very low. It's it's kind of low tier. It's kind of when you're uh, getting more of the hang of it. Tier three, it's a little harder to do because you don't really face heavy tanks mostly. But most of the time, when you're playing artillery tier four and up, you face pretty heavy tanks that are easy easier to hit. And so this is where you're gonna start getting the feel for how artillery really plays, is at tier 4. Not tour 3, tier 4 is where you start to get it. 5, you definitely get it. Um, and then that's when you start to experience, uh, sometimes you get upwards of 40, for tier 5, I think the maximum was is 27 seconds for reload, and that's the maximum out of all the uh, lines. But anyways, uh, enough of me ranting. That'll be for another video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more.